Beauties. So my base is already done as well as my brows. So I'm going right in with the matte splurge color in Grateful, which is a light brown. And I am just buffing that onto the lid and then blending it up. This is going to be our base for playing with the anniversary palette. Um, so I thought this would be nice to give like, um, sorry, I can't speak. This would be nice to give a good base and a bit of color and some transition in the crease as well. Uh, so next, next I'm going in to Tenacious, which is actually the first splurge that I ever had. So it's the first cream eyeshadow of Uniques that I ever purchased. Um, it is one of my favorites. It is like a nice shimmery bronze color um, and it can be used like to be very intense or it can be very subtle and kind of, um, I don't know, just kind of understated, which I think is how we start this off. Um, so I think that it's a really pretty color to use. Uh, and this will be a great everyday look uh, if I took the time to blend my eyeshadow uh, on work days. But I usually don't, and I look like a crazy person. Anyone who works with me will completely attest to that. So sorry, guys. Um, anyway, okay, so just continuing to buff this in and blend it up. And I just really like this color. It also actually really matches my shirt. I don't think I planned that. All right, now we're breaking out the anniversary palette. So I'm going to use the color Enthusiastic. And again, this is a black-based color. Zooming you in, in case you weren't close enough to my face. Um, and I'm using the cream shadow brush, and I am building it up. So it's a black-based color, but it has like a gold-yellow shimmer to it, which is kind of unusual, I think, but really cool. So that's why I liked the base for this to kind of, I don't know, keep it matching. So anyways, so I am building it up, um, and then blending it out. Uh, and I'm just going to keep doing this, keep building it up and keep um, blending it so that I can kind of make that like a better gradient um, and just make it more of a smoky eye. Um, so I just keep packing it on and then using the deluxe brush or any fluffy brush to just blend it a little bit higher. Um, this would be where Rachel's philosophy is a good philosophy because she does her eye makeup first and then her foundation and I always used to be like why do people do that and then I do this like smoky look and I have a little bit of fallout and I get a little too free with my blending and I'm blending like into my brow into my temple you know it just gets a little bit out of hand and I'm thinking if I would have not done concealer it would be much easier to clean this up as opposed to just wiping it away <laughs> So now I'm talking to you because I've made a mess. So here's my plan. Okay, now we're going to go in with bronzer uh, in Sunset with a blusher brush to warm up my skin and my face. Sometimes I will wait uh, till the end to do this because I want to see just sort of like how the eyes come out so that I know how much bronzer or blush I want to incorporate into my look. So I feel like that was a good idea with this and I really do use a good amount of it toward the outer portion of my face to just warm me up. Uh, now I'm going into Seductive, the blush, um, because I do look quite pale and the dramatic eye kind of brings that out a little bit and I don't want to look ill, <laughs> at least not physically. Now we're going in with Epic Mascara. I'm going to do two coats on my top lash line and one coat on my lower lashes. I tend to do that with smoky looks, um, even though I don't have very much in the way of lower lashes. Uh, it does add a little something to the look and keep the eyes, I think, looking more open. Um, and I've noticed that if I look down really far when I'm doing my lower lashes and up really far when I do my upper ones, I have less mess. Um, anyways, okay, so going in with my favorite lip liner, which is almost running out, uh, plush. And I do go out of frame in this, so I am sorry for that. I was really focused on the eyes, so you can't see what I'm doing now. Um, okay, then I'm going to use Stellar Liquid Lipstick um, on the lip brush, because it applies it a little bit more calmly and less aggressively than the applicator. And just kind of blending this in, and I love this like cool toned look. And I did, I don't know if I overlined a little bit on purpose or not. And there I am singing, so lucky you can't hear me. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching.